All right, here I go with another deck tech. Today I'm going to do a deck tech on my black splash blue popper control deck with land destruction. Creature base wise, I'm running the four play set of Phyrexian Rager and Chittering Rats, as well as the Grey Merchant. These are pretty typical in black control decks for good reason. They're very good at what they do, getting me cards, taking my opponent off and draw steps for an extra turn, and getting me a bunch of life. Also running a two of Thorn of the Black Rose and Denrova Horror. Thorn, obviously, when you become the Monarch, you get to draw some extra cards as long as you can protect it. And Denrova Horror can just be hard removal once you get down to your opponent having one or fewer cards in hand. The only blue card in the main deck. He's good when I can get him out. It's only a two of, so if he sits in my hand and I don't hit the mana to cast him, it's not the end of the world. He's a great curveball when people are just thinking you're playing a black control deck. Let's look at the instant and sorcery package. I'm running two Disfigure, two Chainer's Edict main board, and four Guess Verdict. It's really nice being basically mono black to be able to run Guess Verdict instead of Diabolic Edict. Price wise, it's super cheap, same effect, and Incidental Loss of Life is pretty sweet. After Guess Verdict, we're also running a one of Evan Carr's Justice main board, mostly just a concession to Stompy being uh, the menace that it is. It's really People don't expect it main board, which it's, it is kind of crazy to run it main board, which is why I'm only running one. Card draw, running four Sign of Blood, the two Thorn of the Black Rose, plus the Phyrexian Rangers, giving me plenty of card draw advantage, as well as six land destruction spells. Four of Icequake, two of Rancid Earth. Of these two... The one that's probably actually the better play is I should be running four Rancid Earth and two Icequake. I just didn't buy them that way and I haven't really seen much of a need to change it. Uh, Rancid Earth is a really good card versus Tron, but it also has play if you can get up to Threshold, seven or more cards in your graveyard. It can clean up a lot of fairies as well as blowing up one of your opponent's lands. I mean, it's great for three mana. You blow up a land and opponent lands. Specifically, hopefully, if they turn two, play a bounce land, you get to untap on turn three, blow it up, and then they're left staring at you with nothing. Really slows a lot of control decks down that do play a lot of the bounce lands. The blue-black control mirror, this has got to make them want to throw stuff across the table at me. Thank God I'm over a computer. Let's go to the land package. Lands I'm running... Two Baron more, good early, play it out, cycle it away if you're if it's late game. Two of Bajuka Bog. There are a lot of graveyard decks, and just being able to have two different chances to clean it up is pretty sweet. Two Mortuary Mire in case I um, Evan Carr's Justice away my own Chittering Rats. Uh, play this second main, and then they know they're going to get time walked again the next turn. Thirteen Swamps because it's basically mono black, and the four Dismal Backwater. The Dismal Backwaters, I mean, I'm running four blue lands to have access to two Dinrova Horse main deck. Really don't need much more than that. I'm typically going to hit one before I get up to six or seven mana, usually by turn 10, turn 11, with all my extra card draw built in, sometimes quicker. It's very rare where I need to cast a Dinrova Horse and don't have the blue mana to do so. Let's move ahead in the sideboard here. The one of Deadweight does have some strange utility over the Disfigure. If they're playing um, a card like a Tog, they could sack one land and uh, get around the Disfigure effect, but a Deadweight, they're not going to be able, able to actually keep it alive, which is huge. Two of Duress, great for control mirrors, counterspell matchups, just, you know, staple card. Chainer's Edict, two more of. So I can go up to 8 Edict Effects, main board, well, 12 if you count the flashback if I get there. My deck is very aggressive towards just wanting to make sure there's one or fewer creatures on the board. Very happy to cast it early and often, even for a minuscule threat. Two of Echoing Decay. This figure that can clean up a whole bunch of tokens at once, great for 
cleaning up elves, great for cleaning up um, even flip delvers to stinkweed ifs in case I am running against the flyers matchups or need something to be more recursive. Two of Relic of Progenitus. Obviously, you need to pack Graveyard Hate. I have the two Bogs main deck. Two Relics sideboard. To um, really make sure, like, Reanimator and stuff is just try to keep it in check as long as possible. And two more Evan Carr's Justice. Because I really don't like staring down a whole bunch of tutus and I don't my if I cast one early usually Evan Carr's Justice is maybe a two of it at deck I'm running one main board and two on the side I'm with the Grey Merchant gaining me life back I'm not afraid to fire it off buy some creatures back with the uh, Mortuary Myers and to just keep the life flowing that's the deck I got some gameplay videos that I'm going to be uploading with this. Hopefully some good matchups with not too many punts. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at GeekLukeG.